welcome back to my channel. My name is Katrina and my channel is Katrina's Creations. If you've been to my channel before and watched my videos, thank you and hi again. If you're new, welcome to the madness that is my channel. Um, make sure if you are new that you click on the subscribe button down below and you will get all videos that I upload in the future. Um, so, last video I did say that I would record a video when I've got a finished item. I have a finished item. So that's what I'm going to show you right now. So, can you get out, mister? This is finished. So you can see, ugh, keep going up with it. But it is quite large. It will cover a single bed. Ugh, see Look how big it is. Oh, I'm gonna take my glasses off. So this is a Christmas present done. And I know you guys have like Christmas. Yes, Christmas. Um I work a lot slower than I used to because of my hands hurting. So I have been trying to get my bits done early. This was supposed to be a Christmas present for Christmas just gone. So, and I didn't finish it. I completely forgot about it. But it is now finished. Finished, washed. So this was just um, Tunisian crochet. And is it Entrelock? Entrelock? Um, this I've just used two colours for this. Um, I used if I grab this is the ball that I've had finished. So this is Warcraft Baby Care Double Knit, and that's white. Um, I used yeah. So all of the white in that is this, and then the blue. Things are falling out on me, sorry. The blue is this. Um, I've had this for a while. I'm sure I've had these for a couple of years. Um, as you all know, if you've watched my channel, if you follow my channel, I buy my yarn, well, most of my yarn, from a Facebook group called Lucy Loves Wool um, from a guy called Tony. And he sells the majority of his yarn in bags of 10 so you get 10 of one color when you buy it so I've got quite a few packs of majestic yarn like this that um, are in packs of 10 and I didn't know what to do with them and I think it worked up quite well the different colors it's not just the same all the time it kind of it goes from light to dark and then you got sort of like bits where you've got light and dark in the same square so turned out well it is lovely it just feels so nice and I want to make another one I actually I like how this has turned out I like the fabric that it makes from the stitches it is absolutely lovely I do want to make another one but I'm, I'm in the process of make in another in the process of working up something else at the moment another project so I'll show you that in a sec um the border I did I just did three rows of single crochet well single crochet US terms double crochet UK terms I think yeah so um yeah so I just went round that in the white just to finish it off so that's is lovely and that is done um the hook size that i used for this is a six mil hook even though it's double knit yarn when you're doing chinesian crochet you need to go up a size or two with your hook compared to what you you would usually use to crochet so with double knit depending on the thickness of the yarn the majority of the time i use between a four and a five mil hook um but with this i used a it was a 6 mil yeah 6 mil hook should go up a bigger size 
because it's quite a dense fabric. But it is so nice. I just love the way it comes together. So um, I will definitely, definitely, definitely have one of these on the go again soon. Definitely. So um, this is another item done to be put away to be wrapped up for Christmas. The next item I am doing is also for Christmas. Oh, sorry. Everything's falling over. So yeah, this is also for Christmas. This is for my best friend's niece. Um, she not long lost her dad. So she's had a lot of stuff go on in her little life, bless her. So I thought I would make her something that she can grow with and it will stay with her forever. Um, she has um, some sensory issues. So I did decide to try and do this in as many bright colours as I could do whilst they're still trying to trying to make them look like they go together sort of thing. Um, so I have started... Let me find it first, actually. I can't remember what it's called, but I need to find it. Let me see. Let's see if it comes up. Is that it there? No. It is, um, hold on. Let's see if it comes up. No, it's not coming up. It is a um, cow on Facebook. Was it under this? Let's see if I can find it. Um, it's called. I'm sure it's the seaside scrap. Or is it the coastal scrap? I can't remember. But I have the, the what I'm working on here. Um, I have the pattern on my iPad. But if I try to look in my iPad for the pattern, um, it will turn off the recording. So I'm trying to see if I can see it, but I can't. And I really can't remember what it's called. I know I saw it somewhere. Where did I see it? I don't know. But, anyway, so. This is what I have so far. I can't really get the majority of it in. Let me just... So every row is different sort of thing. Um, all of these colors are odd balls of stuff that I've got lying around. Um, I've tried to put them together as well as I can. I'm, trying to, I'm not good with colours. I never get the colour scheme right. I do like those blues and purples there. P purples, pinks, blue, turquoise, white. 
So, yeah. Oh, what is it called? It's really bugging me now. Seaside, coastal, or coastal scrap something. It's really bugging me. I need to find it. I need to find it. Um, but yeah, it's a cow. I think the cow, I don't know when it first started. Um, I think it's been up for a while because it was over the um, pattern when I downloaded it. If you go into it, it's got, is it 50 odd pages? There's a lot of pages. And there's like, no, it's not 50 pages. It's 51 weeks. Something like that. But I'm going to pause this and I'm going to find out because it's bugging me. One second. Right, I'm back. I've checked. It is called the Seaside Stash Buster Blanket. Don't know where I got Coastal from, but yeah, I was searching for Coastal. So the Seaside Stash Buster Blanket. And there is a group on Facebook that you can join that has the... Um, like the files like the pdf and all of that for the pattern on there so you can get that from the group um quite a lot of people have been making it because it's not just in their own group it's also in the crochet crowd group i've seen it a few times um bella coco's group i've seen a few times so there is quite a few people out there doing it so you might have seen it already um I've, it's going quite well i did have a problem at one point and that is because I think somewhere along the line I added some extra stitches it kind of goes out that way I don't know how I did it but I did the stitch count still works out but it just it's got a bit skew with but I will fix that with a border and I'm trying to keep my stitches on point so you can see every row is different so you've got shells here this is just like a wavy like a wave line you can see between the colors then you've got V stitches as well got these bubbles here bubble stitch so here's the V stitches and then this is another I don't know what this stitch is called but you do was it slip stitch? Slip stitch, next stitch is a double crochet, then you go back to a slip stitch and a double crochet, and that's in U US terms. So, um, and that's the, the little pattern that it makes when you do that. So, yep, and you've got some more wavy lines here, and more bubbles here. So, yeah, every, I'm sure it's, the weeks consist, from what I've gathered so far on the pattern, each week has about four to five rows. So um, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to do a couple of weeks in a day so that I'm getting a bit done. But it is quite long. Like, this is longer than my arm span, I think. Where's this double bit? Yeah, it is quite big. But then saying that, she will be able to use that when she's older for a double bed, I reckon. Yeah, it'll be just big enough, depending on how big I do the border. So, um, yeah, this is what I'm working on right now. I'm using one of my new crochet hooks. So this is the Prim, it's Prim isn't it? Yeah, the Prim Ergonomics Crochet Hook. This one's the 3 mil. This one is the 5 mil, which I use a lot. Well, I haven't used this one a lot, but I use, oops, sorry, nearly knocked you out. Um, I use the 5 mil size quite a lot. Um, yeah, these are okay. It's just... Um, I am getting the hang of using it, but I keep, my hands keep moving too far forward and I have to keep bringing them back down here. 
But that's the only problem I have with it is because I keep trying to go down when I should be here. But yeah, no, I haven't, my hands have been okay with these. So I'm just persevering and seeing how I do. But it seems to be going okay so far. So um, yeah, like I said, this is all stash. Um, I went in my cupboard and pulled out a box that had like loads of different colours in it. Um, where's the bag? So I'm using this bag again. Um, I got this from Duty Free at the airport in New York, um, JFK Airport. I, I went through, oh, what do you call it? Duty Free. Went through Duty Free and I was buying chocolates for the kids and whatnot and they gave me this bag free. It's a Hershey's bag. So I do use this for projects. I still haven't learned to use my sewing machine. So, a lot of these, a few of them, should I say, are the Armoni. So, I've had these in my stash for a while, and something is telling me that I got them from um, Lolly's little wool shack. Um, I don't know when. I'm sure that's where I got these from. Um, so I've got this one. What is the weight of this? 190 grams. It's 100% synthetic. Um, there's quite a... I've used it a few times as well. There's quite a, a lot of yarn on that skein. Um, I'm hoping with all of these that I've got that I will have enough. So this again, same thing, just a different colour. This is like um aqua turquoisey colour, I think. Um, same details again, 190 grams, 100 percent synthetic. Where did that little bit of yarn come from? Right, these ones as well. I've had for a while. Um, I use these to make a unicorn. Yeah. A unicorn. As you can see, these Ice yarns, um, details if I can get them. So it's self striping yarn, 50 grams ball, 120 meters, 100% acrylic. So I got, yeah, like I said, I got these ages ago. I did do a big order from Ice at one point, and the video for that order is on my channel if you want to see it. But we're going back at least. It's going to be over well over a year, maybe two years. Because I wasn't in this house, and I've been in this house a year now. So, um, yeah, I had eight of these. I'd used some of them for the unicorn, and I had, I think I had four and a bit left. So I've used one and a bit so far. Which, is, the reason I used that is because it's got, because it, it's self striping you've got the pink and the dark purples so it's not just one color like one i could use this and in two rows you could get three or four different colors out of it so it's it's quite quite good that one let me just put these back in so that's those so far that i've shown you and one so once again Armoni uh, I think this again is from Lolly's little wool shack so that's like a blue and these two I've got as well and those are from the same place. I'm sure I got them all from the same place. Don't know what I ordered them for, but they were in stash, so. And with that as well, I have been using these and this. So, both of these, I haven't got... I've got one of the labels. Ooh. 
I think it's for this one because it says it's Aaron, even though it says it's Aaron. To me, that's double knit. That is not an Aaron because this is double knit. And this grey one is double knit. And let me just put them all next to each other. So to me, that's not Aaron, that's double knit. And that's what I've been using it as. So um, these are, this is a Majestics yarn again, uh, 100 gram ball. This has got little flecks in, little shimmery flecks. Can you see that? So, yep, yeah, that's, yep, yeah, so 100 grams, that's all it really says, 100 grams, and you can wash it 40 degrees, and it needs 4 mil needles or hook. So, those are the basically the same, apart from this is classed as a DK, this is classed as an Aaron, but they're both Majestics, both 100 grams, and both 100% synthetic. So, um, I've been using these as well, and this, just to bulk out and try and add some more to what I've already got in there so that's what I'm working on at the moment um I don't think I've got anything else really to show you that I'm that I've done because I haven't done anything else I've just been taking my time I'm working on this um what was I just gonna say Ooh. I need to put this away as well before I misplant it. Um, oh. Yeah, so, sorry about that. That was my phone. Should put it on silent. Right, so. That's what I'm working on at the moment. Hopefully, next time I record, if it's not finished, it should be, it should have some substantial amount of work on it um oh gosh i keep forgetting to say i keep forgetting what i was gonna say um i haven't bought any yarn recently that i need to show you um oh that was it as well my i see my oldest son he come to he come down the other day come to see me um he is, he has made me a new intro for my channel, which I am going to put up on this video. Um, I haven't used it yet. He literally did it a couple of days ago. Um, and uh, he said that I should record more videos, even if I haven't got anything finished. So I don't know. What do you guys think? Do you think I should record even if I haven't got anything really to show you um i'm not sure i just thought it'd be best to just record when i've got stuff that i can actually show you and talk about um but no he reckons i should be uploading more videos but he has done me a nice introduction so i am going to put that on the front of this video if you got to this part of the video if you've got this far through my waffling um, leave a comment and let me know what you think about the intro, whether you prefer the new one or whether you prefer the old one. Um, yeah, that's about it really. So, I want one of these for myself. But I don't want so many colours. And it's like, where do you start? I don't know where you'd start. But I do like it. I like it a lot. And the green, that one with the flex, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you can see the flex just slightly in that green. Sort of, a little bit. I don't know. You might not be able to see it. I can see it. But it is pretty. I do like it a lot. 
Um, yeah, so today is, what is today? It is Saturday the 16th of May. Um, I'm going to go and put dinner on for me and Colleen. I've just noticed that the dogs are really quiet. I don't like that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to put dinner on and maybe watch some films and sit and crochet. So that's all I'm doing today. Um, what is everyone else working on? What have you been doing? Um, I haven't watched any vlogs this week. I need to catch up. But obviously having my older son come down, he takes over my living room. Um, it's just harder trying to do things when you've got people under your feet all the time. So, yeah, I need to catch up with vlogs. I haven't watched any. Um, I know I've got a few comments that I need to reply to. I haven't forgotten. I just haven't got to it yet. But um, I know Kim um, left a comment. I need to reply to her. Um, also, oh, oh she, do you know what? When I make a video, I need to start writing down things that I want to say because I always forget. And it does my nut in. But, um, yeah, so if any of my fellow YouTubers are watching, Kim, um, how are you? Hi. Um, also, you've got Denise from Dear Designs. Hi, Denise. I watch you quite often as well. Um, oh, Denise, because of you, I bought fat quarters and I can't even use my sewing machine. I'm blaming you since you did it. Um, <laughs> um, who else? There's loads of people I've been watching, but my mind's just gone blank. But I will catch up with everyone. But yeah, once again, if you have, if you've made it all the way to the end of this video, leave a red heart in the comment section. Also, if you are not subscribed, make sure you do please click that subscribe button so that you get updates as and when I upload new videos. Um, so that's it from me, really. I know I've waffled on a bit. And forgotten half the stuff that I wanted to tell you because I'm so disorganized um yeah that's about it I just wanted to show you the finished blanket and the one that, that is currently in progress so I don't know if there's any other colors you think I should add to this let me know or if you think it's already working it looks okay let me know I was a bit unsure about the red and the yellow but I don't know I don't know I'm not good with colors so I always just stick to plain colors it's hard work right anyway my son is on his way back he went out so he was going out for a couple of hours and I thought oh I could record a video quiet and he texts me saying he's coming home so yes I need to um cut this off before he gets in and starts making loads of noise <sighs> yeah so i hope everyone is well um i hope you're all still isolating keeping indoors and staying safe um i know that the some of the restrictions have been lifted slightly um you're able to go out and do more exercise and whatnot now um each to their own i personally i'm not trying to go out unless it's 100 percent necessary um I think people should kind of try still try and stick with staying in unless you actually have to go out because otherwise we're going to get a second peak and no one wants to be isolated again. So anyway, I'm probably all bored of hearing that about the um, C word. But yeah, so when with my days that I'm staying in, I'm staying at home, I'm trying to keep busy sorting things out um i'm still sorting like my stash out and bits and pieces i've got a big box here that needs i've got too much yarn guys someone needs to stop me from buying it at one point i was going to message <laughs> tony from lucy's loves wall and say to him do not let me buy any more yarn and then i was like yeah but i need some gray because i use a lot of the um I use a lot of this. Grey seems to be one colour that everyone loves. And that's been going on for a while. So when people want 
certain things, everyone always asks for grey for some reason. So I go through loads of these and I get them in bags of 10 from Lucy's Love, Lucy Loves Wool. So at the moment, I've got this ball and two full balls and that's it. And I had two full packs. I had 20 balls of this grey and I've now got two and a bit. Shows how much I use. Um, yeah. So that's it really. Waiting for a delivery from my Hermes, um, cook dinner, crochet, um, and find something to watch, which there doesn't seem to be anything on TV to watch these days. But Right, so anyway, again, I'm going again because I'm chatting a load of rubbish and you don't want to hear this. So I will be back soon. Um, I don't know whether I'll do a video again sometime next week, in the week, and show you the progress, if that's what you want, or, no, I can't wait until this is finished to do another video, because otherwise, I'm going to wait until next year. <laughs> How I crochet at the moment. But, um, yeah, so, we'll, we'll work something out, we'll get there. But, um, yeah, so, I want you all to stay safe, stay at home, stay crafting very important stay crafting and i will see all of you guys very soon bye